Hello, my name is Carrie Osner. I'm a nurse here at PRMC, and I've been a nurse for 10 years and been here for six and a half years. Most of my time here, I've been working in ICU and the ER. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little about fall prevention um, in our community and data as well. So in uh, the nation, an older adult falls every second of every day. Falls affect us all, whether personally or someone we love or care about. One in four older adults reported a fall, and of course, falls increase with age. More than 27,000 older adults die as a result of falls. That's 74 older adults every day. Here at Pratt Regional Medical Center, we are a level four trauma center, which means um, there are four designations throughout the state, ranging from level one being the highest acuity level at large teaching hospitals, down to a level four, which is where we are at in the small rural community. Um, this involves specific trauma trained staff for all of these areas in the different levels. Next, I will go over a checklist that is found on the CDC website on how to keep your home safe. So some of the things to look for on your stairs or steps are making sure uh, to fix any loose or uneven steps, um, making sure there's a light switch available, making sure that carpet is firmly attached, or if you have smooth, slick steps, making sure there's a non-slip uh, tread on the stairs, making sure there's handrails with all of your steps, and with any of your basic floors, making sure that the path is clear, that there's no clutter. If you have rugs, making sure they're secure or getting rid of them. Um, you can get double-sided tape or the non-slip backing on the rugs so they aren't slipping around. Um, again, making sure things are picked up off the floor and making sure wires and cords are out of the way, taped up on a wall rather than on your, your walkway. In the kitchen, making sure things uh, that you use often are on the lower shelves, easy to get. And if you do have to use a step stool, make sure it has a handle on it to, to keep yourself steady. In your bedroom, you can have a lamp or a nightlight, so that way if you have to get up in the middle of the night, you can easily see where you're going. And in the bathroom, having non-slip rubber mats or a non-slip surface on your tub and having grab bars near your toilet or in the tub as well. Next, we're gonna talk about some things to uh, do to prevent falls. Um, talk openly with your healthcare provider about fall risks and prevention. Of course, if you have a fall, be open and honest with your provider and let them know how many times you've recently fallen. Exercise to improve balance and strength is important too. Staying active and um, attending classes if possible is good. Having your eyes and feet checked. Of course, having your vision checked yearly is, is good. And when you go see your doctor at least yearly, having them look at your feet and referring you to a foot specialist if necessary to make sure you have the proper footwear is good. And then of course, making your home safer, which we just reviewed. If you don't already have a primary care provider, we do recommend that you go ahead and establish with one. That way you can easily discuss with them any fall risk concerns or let them know if you have been falling recently. Also getting your family involved and being open and honest with them so that way they are available to help you. Also discussing with your primary care provider any medications that may make you feel dizzy or lightheaded that may lead to extra falls. Um, other things you can do, as mentioned, are stay active in your community. There's several parks here in the Pratt community as well as walking trails. And here at Blythe Family Fitness here in town, there's a retire fit class that meets every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is a free class for anyone 60 and older, and that class would be a great opportunity to increase your core strength to help reduce your risk of a fall. At PRMC, we are committed to reducing falls in our community. Be on the lookout for more fall prevention education coming up.